Why can't I get emotional at the beginning of the interview? Welcome back to Secrets of a Stylist. For those of you guys who don't know me, my name's Kim, I'm a fashion stylist, and for those of you who do, welcome back. I am so excited for today's YouTube. I am calling it The Giving Closet. You guys, today I am giving back to a very special woman. She is a caregiver, she is a grandmother. She spent her whole life taking care of other people. So today I have assembled a group of my friends that are all also givers, and they are here to give back. We are doing a closet refresh. We are cleaning out her closet. We are doing a renovation. I don't know how to do renovations, but I'm gonna try. So stay tuned, get your Kleenex. This is your warning, you're gonna cry. Happy cheers. Giving back is sort of the, re it is the reason I do what I do. Like I get such energy and joy out of helping people look and feel their best. I've done really fancy things. I've dressed wonderful people for the Emmys, for the Oscars. I've been on TV, I've styled editorials. I accomplished all the dreams I wanted to as a stylist, but still. My most very favorite thing I do is getting a chance to get into people's closets, cleaning them out and rebirthing them with new clothes, especially if I have the opportunity to gift them clothes, is even more amazing. The change that I get to see on their faces, how they feel about themselves, that gives so much back to me. So to be able to really give back to someone that really, really deserves it with a team of people that are all givers, it's like a dream. Today I am welcoming in my very special guest, Candy, come on in, hello. <laughs> this is Candy. Today is her day. We are glorifying her. We are taking care of her closet. We are going to take everything out and we're gonna put some stuff back in. Are you ready for this? <laughs> yes. So oftentimes <laughs> closets carry a lot of energy. You hold on to a lot of things in the closet. And that is sort of the purpose of getting rid of clothes because they have memories, they have energy attached. And sometimes in order to move forward in your life, you just need to get rid of the old and bring in the new. So let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> My sister Candy is an old soul. She's the biggest hearted person I know. She would do anything for anybody. She constantly thinks about everyone else. She likes to grow her own food, cook her own food. She makes everything from scratch. I don't know how she finds time or does all that because she's taking care of everyone and doing everything all day. And somehow she, she finds time and she really, she loves it. I have a very full plate. I don't consider it stress until I look back on it. Many years ago, um, I had uh, a traumatic event happen in our lives. My five-week-old granddaughter passed away. And that was just kind of where things started to change. That's a huge trauma, and it affected everyone. Right down to the, I now am raising my grandchildren. I also have my mother-in-law who had a stroke four years ago, and I'm now her full-time caregiver. She, uh, she takes care of Nana 24-7 almost, since she can't do anything. And Luke, he, the same thing with Nana. He can barely do anything by himself. Nice, I'm almost done here, okay? I like the light. Your living room looks you different, like the light. Eh? Yeah, because I like them. He'll play with me, and whatever he do, he don't let me down. You say how much you love her? Oh, thank you. That's so much. I feel like my grandmother really deserves it. She's been working hard, and she deserves nice things. No matter what, she just deserves nice things all the time. Okay, Candy, we're in the closet. So this is a good moment because we are going to take out what you don't like, and we're going to move that energy that has held you in this closet out. So I'm going to go through each piece, right. piece by piece. Yep. And then you can tell me if you like it, don't like it, blah, blah, whatever. My sister's style. I don't know if I would say she has any. 
She is constantly busy doing everything for everyone else that I don't think she pays much attention to her style. Probably three or four years ago, I took her to Los Angeles and I got her a full makeover. We went out and got her a whole new wardrobe, got her a whole bunch of clothes and did her hair and her makeup. She just really deserved it and, and it was really fun seeing her get away for a few days and getting a whole new new look and she just had a new spring in her step, which is what I'm hoping will happen today. She's really needing some some new fresh duds. Okay, so this little gray number. Now this is really cute. My sister takes me on shopping adventures and I absolutely love it. I wear it around the house all day, but it's too small. It's too short. short. It's too short and I like to have part yeah. of my body, you know, my stomach area covered because it just yeah. feels better. It I get feels that. right. No, that's, that happens to a lot of people. It is short and wide, but I'll tell you what I like about it. Number one, your sister, it was one of her shopping trips she I took know. you on. I so it, it has emotion and that's positive emotion. And the other thing I like about it is it, it's plain gray. Yeah. And so really, you can throw this on at home. You don't have to look perfect at home. It doesn't have holes. Like things that I look for when I'm cleaning closets out. Is it holy? Is it mm -hmm. stained? There's no stains on it. Off the shoulder so like, a little bit maybe. Yeah, or, let's yeah. keep it. Yep, absolutely. This is great for at home. Yep. So we're going to put all the keeps in one side yep. of the closet. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Next one on a different hanger than that one. I've got a whole bunch of matching hangers for you. That's going to change your life too. Okay, that's like my pet peeve. I have to have all the hangers. That's okay. Matching. Okay, so this blue Yes, this is is actually longer. has something meaning to it too. Okay. My stepmother bought me this. Okay. Um, she hates seeing me in black all the time. And so she says, I, you need a pop of color. And you need a, so she shows up randomly every once in a while and brings me some new shirts. And this one is just, it's comfortable. It's light. Okay. I like the way it ties in the front. I have another one that ties in the front. I like that. I don't Perfect. know. This is good. Like, we'll just keep it. This yeah. is, and like another thing, you, you are at home every day, right? So you're, this is not like, these are not your going out clothes. This no. is a great throw on. I'm working around the house. I say, yes, let's keep it. Yes. Okay. We're gonna switch the hangers later though. Duh. Okay. Ooh, we have onesies. This one's so soft. No, these aren't my favorite. So these are what you wear to bed or yes. just okay, perfect. So yes. we'll keep Or around the house on Saturdays. I like it. Yeah. I feel like this is something I could get into. Like maybe I'm I need a onesie. Serious, man. I'll tell you. See where I buy because it's awesome. Great idea. Well, okay, let's onesies. talk about this. Onesies. This is a uh, whole there's a whole th bunch of leopard. Yeah, I know, told but me I don't wear. wear it. But I'm in bed, so nobody really sees me. Okay. But I live in onesies. Like, it gets to be minus 20 here sometimes. I like to be okay. warm and snuggly. And so I, I have it. a whole bunch of them, actually, that I really don't want to get rid of. Okay, <laughs> we won't get rid of the onesies. I'm kind of into the onesie. If I had known, I would have got you a whole I bunch of onesies. onesies. My sister should probably get rid of. I know Kim would say, are the onesies? but I'm totally guilty. I love them myself. If you sleep in this and you love it, then let's keep it, you know? We'll just, we'll save it. This is yeah. a bedtime. We're good. Bedtime, bedtime is my favorite All right. Time. This is just an old sweatshirt. I get it, it's Toronto. Yay, Toronto, but honestly, I don't wear it. Okay. You don't wear it? I don't. Oh, we got rid of one piece. <laughs> I don't yeah, wear it. I just, it just, I felt okay. patriotic when I kept it. Okay, I'm gonna put it on the floor. Okay? You go right okay. ahead. Okay, next. Oh, this is I know this is another outfit another shirt that Patty bought me and I absolutely do love it because when this it flattens me these are actually great well let's see your body type is I think you're actually an hourglass hourglass figures you can be a size 2 hourglass or a size 14 but always things that highlight your waist because that's your smallest part right. are great that's why you like yeah, this I just I do I think it's yeah, cute this is so cute yeah with a pair of jeans or shorts in the yeah. summer I love it also another thing that happens when we clean out closets sometimes we try on all the new outfits and mm -hmm. then when you go back and you look at these pieces with your new ones you're like maybe I don't want that yeah that, yeah I've, that already, I've already I've already been yeah, yeah kind of yeah uh oh here we go again okay we have more invisible clothing we're gonna take those <laughs> <laughs> I'm out here. Okay, um, oh, oh, another onesie. It's my Christmas onesie. We have a Christmas onesie. This is your theme. I didn't, I know. you hid this from me. I, I know, I never thought to say anything about it. Your fairy, your, uh, your very favorite item, you never thought yeah, to say anything Yeah, I know, about. right? Onesies, literally, that's a style in my closet. And a few old sweatshirts and hoodies. Um, I don't have a style, I really don't. Um, and that's okay, it, it's, it's just not something I ever put a lot of stock into. 
and that one I love it, but it's just it's seen its days. Seen its days. Yeah, okay. I love the cross. Well, Bye, sweater. Thank you for job. your we'll for your duty. Those. We will regift those. It's hard to get rid of stuff, and yeah. I would like to say that you're doing a really good job because I've done this thousands of times, and mm -hmm. not everyone can do this. Yeah, they're like, well, I need I that. Know. So you're but, yep. doing a really really good job, and I'm proud of you. Also. I'm proud of you for letting us be here because that's not easy too. So no, thank you for thank having you. us. Thank you. Now this is just this is actually a newer one and I just I like it. Okay. It's just once again for me being around the house all day, it's just throw it on, go outside, chase a dog. Yes. Chase a five year old, okay. whatever it is. So. We'll keep it for now. For now, yeah. This is actually part of a pajama set oh, that okay. um, when Lucas came to to stay with us, he need he felt a lot of comfort in the soft stuff. And then I wore it and then as he got older he started putting stickers on it. Oh. And one said I love you mom and then I didn't see it and I washed it and so they're stuck on there and I don't yeah, go. It's kinda like it can it. go. So, okay, yeah, because it's I've been picking up those stickers for three okay. years and it's not coming off. Okay, we'll get rid of it. I and like I just, one. I feel like a school teacher when I wear it. I just feel like I need big black reading glasses and a book and. I like it. I, I think, do you I, wear it? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah. And you know why this works for you? Because of this tie on your body. Because you need things that tie in at the waist. Right. Because you have a great waist. So we'll keep, let's keep this piece and okay. then we'll restyle it. Wow. There's nothing left yeah. in my closet. <laughs> There is a lot of onesies left in the closet. We have onesies. Cleaning out Candy's closet. I mean, honestly, she had actually gone through a lot of it, um, which was really sweet. And she had gotten rid of like most of the pieces. And I think she really kept some of her favorites, but it was really cute as we went through the favorites that were still there. You know, she just was like, well, I don't really like that, but she just didn't have anything else. Because when you're really, really busy taking care of other people, you actually don't have time to take care of yourself, to go buy yourself clothes. I mean, it's, it's a difficult thing to do, to, especially if you don't live somewhere where it's easy access. And I have gone shopping for you. Obviously, me and um, Camila have gone shopping for you, and so we will bring those outfits out, and you can go through them and see what you like yeah. and what you don't like. So excited! <laughs> I actually had reached out to H&M and I told them the story and I said I really wanted to give back and they were actually so amazing. It blew my mind. I chose H&M to pull clothing from for Candy because I've worked with them for years. We've had a really long-standing good relationship. Actually, I taught a master class in one of their stores in Vancouver. It was a really cool experience, but we've had a great relationship and I know that I can always count on them. The quality is there for the clothes and it was right for Candy. It was the right brand for her and her lifestyle. Oh. It's a beautiful color. I, know. I, no. I think there's it. always a try. I think you should always do a like. Do you think she, looks, on. she has red pink hair? Yeah. I think it would go well. I think my, 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 I've got a lack of color going on. <laughs> I think she looked beautiful in it. Okay, okay. Okay. I grew up in a family where community is a big thing and I think giving is about community. I think it opens doors for people and creates blessings and it kind of creates like a domino effect. So anytime I'm styling anyone, I'm never trying to change them. I think that's a misconception of a stylist. And I also think that's maybe not a great stylist. If you don't like to wear short skirts, they really think you should that doesn't really work. So what you have to do is go with the person. Candy's lifestyle is at home and she's here and she's taking care of other people. And so I was looking for soft fabrics and I was looking for colors that didn't, that could get messy. So like maybe white's not one of my first choices. I was looking for sweats that would look cool, but also be comfortable. And then I picked a couple casual outfits that if she wanted to go out, she could, but it was still her. So casual jeans, a really cool coat that was like a fun, bright color. So I tried to stick with who she is. Like, let's be honest, sequins dresses and high heels, like that's not her. And so that doesn't really work for her lifestyle. So those are the types of things that I was looking for when I was pulling clothes. So now I have actually gotten Candy out of the closet. What she doesn't know is we are actually doing a total renovation on the closet. Mario is a good friend of mine. Okay, little side note, Mario just had a surgery. Oh, and I'm I, okay. Okay, good. Yeah. And I asked Mario, I'm like, I really need some help with this closet. Would you come out? Can you help me? Yeah. Of course. Like another giver who just wants to help. If I, if I can help, if I can do something good for someone, you know, it's, it's always, uh, I think it's always, uh, this has come back to you uh, one, one day, okay? 
So, uh, and it's, it's very nice, okay? Very, very, uh, very human, I yes. think. So I asked Mario if he could paint the closet and make some shelves for it, which you did. Yeah. And um, what else are you going to do in the closet? Oh, so we go, we're going to paint, we're going to repair a little bit uh, whatever. It's uh, not good. Yeah. Uh, we put the shelf and I think we're going to be done okay. and it's going to be looks nice and great. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. And Aspen is going to help you paint. Do you yeah, think? Yeah, she knows. Do you think, I know. Do you think she can paint? Yeah, of course. Is it hard yeah. to paint? Yeah, it's hard, but she can do it, of course. Okay. Of course. You're going to teach her? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It'll be completely unrecognizable. I also bought mirrors and carpets. But I did have to ask a few of my friends to help me. One of them is Mario, and the other one is my daughter, Aspen, who always helps me on special projects. Come on in, Aspen. Hello. <laughs> I've been working with my mom as an assistant since I was about 10 years old. First a ground, now a cocoon my mom is a very good stylist. It can be fun. It's also tiring. A little boring, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that answer. <laughs> so you always come help me on projects, which I love, and like, yes. and you have since you've been a little girl. Today, I'm gonna get you to actually help paint the closet with Mario. Have you painted before? I haven't been <laughs> painted before. <laughs> okay, you haven't painted with me. No. Do you feel like you can confidently paint this closet? Confidently, I think I can. All right, you excited? Yes. What was the hardest part about painting before? Making the lines even. So I'm going to take Candy and I'm going to start trying on outfits with her. So while I do that, I'm going to get you in here with Mario to start painting the closet. Yes. Is that cool? Yes. Okay. Let's get Does work. it matter if you get paint on this these clothes? No. Okay. Sacrifice. Okay. Thank you. Let's paint it. it. Let's paint it. Oh! Uh, <laughs> no. From this corner, for yeah. example. Not this okay. One. Mario and Aspen are in your closet. Aspen, say hi. And they are painting. When is the last time you did a major renovation? Well, we did redid the kitchen like five years ago, and we the just kitchen repainted looks good, it actually. last year. Yeah. But no, this is like especially for something personal. Yeah. This is the first time. Wow. This is, this is actually. I don't do stuff for me. I know, but we think as a girl, like the nice I thing know, is I, to have I'm, a really nice I'm excited. Closet. Maybe right. my sister will get me to be a little bit more girly. Yeah. <laughs> I brought along Victoria, who's my makeup artist. She did Candy's makeup. We wanted to give her a day of pampering, so makeup and hair. So Candy has the most beautiful eyes. She radiates beauty from within. It speaks volumes. We started off the day with just Candy relaxing in what she normally wears and who she is, and then we finished it with glamming her up so that she gets to feel beautiful and um, can feel great on camera, and it was just a really fun process. It's beautiful and I love her for it, but I have a hard time accepting it or a hard time understanding why she would want to do this stuff. For God, me. you're so lovable! <laughs> That's why I'm crying so much! <laughs> I don't have time for myself. Just today alone, just having friends and people here and around me and laughing and joking and we were dancing and and the kids were enjoying themselves and and this is something I don't get very often because my days are are so laid out and so this is like a day at the zoo or going to Disney World you know what I mean this is like huge I haven't been around this many people in a very long time 
I don't get to leave the house as much as I would like to. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be and I'm doing exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. And that makes me so happy. People see it as, oh, you don't have a life. This is my life and my family is my life and my family is so important to me. I would rather that than a million friends. I would rather just be with them. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. God, I love it. And I do love the whitewashing. Look at that, it's so bright. It's so bright. It's so amazing. Oh, there. And there's a new bar. He put in oh, a look bar at that. What a sweet man. So you've got baskets. Oh my God. Jackets. Oh. New slippers. You have no idea how much I love slippers. That is beautiful. He did so amazing on that. And I love this rug. And look at my clothes. Oh we my god. We went gosh. with your lifestyle. So we have This cozy, is so beautiful. Fuzzy sweatpants. And look what I found. Oh my god. <laughs> These are just basics that we need a pair another pair oh, of basic sweatpants. Are These are for your everyday use. Those are you know? so cute. Sweatpants, leggings, Black jeans. Oh my god. And they're all for me. And the whole closet. Whole closet. Okay, okay ladies. Okay. What do you think? Oh, I'm so excited. I think you did a great job, Kim. Thank you. You ready to try it all on? Yes. Oh, yes. Let's yes. 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 try it on. So Naomi from Rock and Karma, I had told her the story that I was looking for a tie-dyed sweatsuit. I hadn't found it. And she actually took the time in the middle of her crazy time, very busy time for her store, and drive it over to my house with several different options of tie-dye. Like just stuff like that blows my mind. So I'm really grateful for that. has not seen herself yet. She has tried on all these outfits and I am going to step out of the closet and show her a mirror so she can see herself. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes! yes! Okay, open your eyes. Oh my gosh. Oh How my gosh. Look? look at oh your gosh, face. What a difference. I love it. Do you I like love it? it. I love okay, it. this look would even look great without the jacket. Do you like it? I do. I love you it. didn't think you would like I it? I didn't think I would like leopard, and I love the color. It I looks great it. as an outfit together. Aw, thank you, Kim. Yes. Thank you to everybody. Everybody. Every single. I can't say all your names. I'm weird. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But thank you, everybody, for coming. This was amazing. This has been very overwhelming, but in a good way. And I want to thank you guys all from the makeup to the pictures to everybody, even little Luke who screamed quiet on set. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I, I honestly, I can't wait to go to bed to figure out what I'm going to wear tomorrow morning. Aww, <laughs> oh, I love you. Oh, I love you. Thank you, Thank guys. you, Kim. I have one, you're welcome. I have one special gift for you. Okay, so this is a special gift for you. This is from Burks. So they did a collection, oh, I'm gonna cry. They did a collection called Dare to Dream. And it's all about connection to the people that you love and also a connection to your dreams. So when you put this on, you're going to remember how special you were today and you're going to remember your dreams and the things that you were doing for yourself. So I will let you open this. This, this is Am like I my finished? favorite collection. So, and this was their gift to you. So this is, that is gold. 
So there's one to remind you of your dreams and one to remind you of all the special people that mean something in your oh, life. That is and so beautiful. You can leave it on, you can shower with it on, which is my favorite thing about real gold. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to put it on you. So you know how you were saying you had no necklace. I don't. Like, she has no necklace. I so don't like, have any going. jewelry other than my ring. I now have earrings. <laughs> Beautiful. And then I have one. Oh, what? I, this is this is more than enough. So this one is for Patty. Come on ah. in here. This one is for you because two is better than one. And it is all about connection. And so it represents your connection is together. This the same one? Yes. Oh, so awesome. We have twinsy jammies. We can have twinsy I'm necklaces. These are coming wow. to put yours on. Put yours yes. on you. So when you look down at it, you remember I'll your remember. dreams. So if that's doing a cookbook, if that's whatever it is. Oh. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I want to give a massive heartfelt thanks to everyone on my crew, everyone who participated in today, everyone who gifted products, Burks, H&M, Rockin' Karma, Be Beautiful, Indeed Skincare. You guys are absolutely amazing. You made a dream come true for Candy. Yeah. Yeah. I concur. I'm really grateful too. So thank you guys. Thank you, Kim, for all that you're, you've done today you're and welcome. all that you're doing. And you do great work. Thank you. She does great work. <laughs> thank you for tuning in and welcome to the Giving Closet.